Up until very recently, with no track, if you wanted to view all the DNS queries which had been made on your network, this was the only way to do it, with the DNS queries page, which in the newer versions is reading data out of MariaDB. But on the downside, it's only ingesting the data once every few minutes. So if you wanted to actually look at what's going on right now, there and then on your network, you had to use something like Wireshark. Well, not anymore now. If you want to see what the DNS queries are being made on a live basis, I'm calling this no track live, this is how you can do it. So it literally shows you everything that is happening once every few seconds. I've tried to make it a bit more flexible on the display. It's only reviewing on a small table. So I'm trying to throttle how much it goes through there. That's why I've got a little box here called backlog. It's simply showing what the backlog is in the queue. I notice the tracker there on the list, increasingly.co, not actually uh, blocked. Oh dear. That's one for the list to be added. Anyway, you have the time, the query was made, and the system that made it. And the result is also highlighted, or well, with the lack of uh, highlighting this time, let me just show you what it means. So if I go to something that will be blocked, let's say go on Twitter, a few seconds later the page gets loaded and gradually cycles through. So I'm expecting, ah, oh, there we are, analytics.twitter.com blocked page. So I hope this is reasonable enough to see. I know more could have been done with making like a bigger table, making it so you could scroll through it yourself. But honestly, if you want to see that sort of detail, you can always go across to this list here and look at everything on the time by time basis. It's not like you're completely limited on all the options. Well, let's see the difference. We've got 802 there and 805. So I've got newer data on the live page. What I've built here is like the equivalent of tail-f, following the new lines which are added to a file. But it wasn't entirely as simple as that, because the log file gets purged every few minutes. So when the data is ingested, it just wipes the log file. Oh, 73 backlog. Huh, let's see how you deal with that. Well, if you wanted to stop and review a point, you can just pause it. That's a lot of things that have been open there. <laughs> Don't think all those should be open. It's the weird oddities of what is actually on a page and what is actually being loaded when you review a page. Hmm. Anyway, I do have a particular reason for building this. I have uh, wanted to look at some of the activity of certain uh, add-ons for browsers which uh, get up to no good and leak a lot of data. That sort of thing is going to be a lot easier to see in something like this on no track than looking at a view of Wireshark. I mean, for a comparison, here is Wireshark. And yes, I could focus specifically on DNS. So there we go. I'll do something to cause a bit of noise. So that's a DNS lookup there. So yes, I queried YouTube, um, apparently YouTube image. Got the result information. So yeah, there's a lot more information here on Wireshark compared to the information here on no track live. I've gone for the simpler view. I didn't see the point in trying to build something like Wireshark because we have that level of detail already in a different product. So if you wanted to use that, you can. But it'd be interesting to make use of this feature later on in future videos. But for now, this is a feature which I've added to no track version nine. It is still in development. But honestly, if you want to test it out, go for it. Uh, there is no upgrade path between no track version eight to version nine. You have to uninstall no track and then reinstall it. All the code is open source and is available on my GitLab page. Well, thanks for watching, I'll see you all later. <laughs>